In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make a dark mode in Laravel 9 using Inertia and Vue.js. We will use the Vue and uh, we will install Breeze for Inertia to do that. Uh, so without further ado, let us get started. Open the terminal and run Composer Create Project, Laravel, Laravel, and then Laravel 9.3, something like that or uh, whatever name you are giving. So after running this one, uh, the Laravel will be installed. Because I already installed the Laravel, I'm inside this folder, Laravel 9.3. So as if you can see here, uh, if I uh, ls, as you can see, all the uh, file projects are here, uh, files of the Laravel framework. So I already installed here uh, the, the Laravel. Next, we need to install other uh, packages to, to create the dark mode. Now, I uh, install Breeze for Inertia. So, Composer require Laravel slash Breeze, and it will in download and install Breeze. Now, Breeze is installed. Next, I will install the view. So, I write PHP artisan Breeze colon install view. In between, I pause videos to install related packages. Now, view is installed. If you are uh, stuck with this, so you can uh, enter Control C to uh, exit from the uh, installation. Once installation is finished, from the from inner terminal to your terminal, then you need to run the npm install and npm run dev. So it will install the related uh, dependent packages. Now it is installed. Hit Control C to exit from the file terminal, and then uh, run the PHP artisan migrate command. So it's giving me error because it does not know any data. It's saying it's not installed any databases. I open this term, this uh, project folder, and then I uh, run the uh, run a command in the terminal touch, uh, and then data uh, and touch database slash uh, larav dot SQL light. I'm using just SQL light here. So now it's uh, data database file is created here. I need to give the address to it. So I open the config file and then open database from here. I will give the address here. So I write he here the Laravel SQL light, and uh, I also need to change here. So I, I write SQLite in the env.file from this file and uh, delete everything else because we don't need it. So now if I run the PHP migration command, as you can see, it is running everything here. Now the migration happened. Next, we need to also, we need to run npm run dev run build to build related files. Uh, so if you use dev, it will op open the, uh, the, the development part and uh, the, uh, the white server, uh, run the white server. Next, we need to uh, install the view use using the NPM. Uh, so in order to install, we run NPM i, v at v use core, Now it is installed. So next we close these two and uh, open the tailwind.config.js. So as you can see uh, here, there are many configuration inside this one. We need to add the dark mode class inside this one. So I write dark mode and then the class. So let's run the project. I open the terminal and a new terminal and from here I cd lara and then from here I write php artisan serve enter so I open it in the browser 
here now it is <coughs> installed and running now I go to register and write something like Tom Tom at yahoo.com and a password then again password and click register after this one it will take us to the dashboard now let's come back to the editor from here i open the resources from here i open the js folder and then pages as you can see here the dashboard so if i write something x if you can see it will show here the dashboard x uh, okay we we need to run the 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 invite uh, server so i open a new, a new terminal and go to the uh, folder project from here i write npm run dev and it should start the server uh, as we started because i use multiple terminals that's why it gives uh, some issues so that's why I, uh, I exited from before so now we need to run it and then if we go back here as you can see now it is changed so if i change to something x y z and uh, if i go here it's uh, automatically changes to to related uh, text that i have so now i i change here a little bit to add the dark mode uh, button and I, I change here a little bit to show the effect so here we need to import another package uh, which is the uh, we use uh, and uh, we use these two then we need to uh, create the related constant so i create two constant here one is dark and then is do uh, toggle dark next we need to add the button so in front of this one i just write something here and add this uh, button here so what I did is created a button and had a, a few classes of the uh, tailwind as you can see here there are many classes to give it just some decoration and write it the dark toggle I will check the browser as you can see here we have the, uh, the dark toggle button you can click it will change it is uh, color so next we need to do something to uh, make it uh, the, the page make darker dark and uh, back to, to the light so in inertia everywhere this dark mode is uh, available right now next we open the and then the editor again next next we need to have the classes that is needed for dark mode so i add here dark and then we add the class the background to something like this and then here I add another uh, another class here I write text dash white here so uh, here uh, actually I need to cut it from here and I need to put it here so here we change that uh, when it is dark then it should give this background gray and then that uh, when it's dark and the text uh, should be white let's check how it looks now we have here when i click here as you can see it's uh, giving the the dark mode toggle if i click then as you can see the dark mode is uh, available here